Hi, my name is Oscar Espina Ruiz. I teach clarinet at the School of the Arts since 2011. Today we have a video about tonguing in the altissimo register, um, the very high register. And for that, we are going to basically have four exercises uh, about tonguing. I call them tonguing number one, tonguing number two, three, and four. So, first of all, let's talk about light tonguing. And, you know, we're talking about something that is inside the mouth. We don't quite see it. So you will try many times something in order to produce the desired effect. I will say, oh, yes, sing. And the back of the tongue comes up. Oh, yes, tongue, as in two, two, two. And the front of the tongue will come up. Things like that. So here's tonguing number two, light tonguing. What is light tonguing? It is the tonguing that does not stop the sound. So if I am sustaining a note and I tongue to, 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 each time I tongue, I must not stop the sound. I'm just saying to, 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 to. And here's tongue in number one. We'll do it in two four this time. One bar of sixteenth notes, one bar of a half note. The sixteenth notes come in crescendo and the half note diminuendo. in the chromatic scale. Eh? And this is light tonguing again. It will not stop the sound. You don't want to do this. Not that. Let's go to tonguing number two. Tonguing number two is in scale. We'll just take a pattern or a scale and go up and down many times, non-stop. I mean, we stop to breathe, obviously, and then just continue. Uh, the very first time around, we'll do the slur. Why? Because the reed is the source of sound. And we don't want to mess up with that too much. When we don't tongue, we have the best possible sound. So up and down the first time slurred, we want to hear our quality sound. Thereafter, we articulate. And we keep going. Up and down, up and down, and we take a breath, and we continue, and we take a breath, and we continue. Eventually, the tempo may give a little, and we may slow down a little. So continue, and then rest. Uh, let's actually start in the low register. I love the scale of F major, because it allows for the most natural movement of my fingers on the clarinet. And why don't we go from low E to A with the notes of F major. So that would go like this. expand to the next register same thing we go on and on for a while and eventually we can go into the fifth partial all the way to F for example Eventually, I guess we can do just a simple <laughs> a three octaves F major scale. And 
so on. So you see how I am playing quite loud. Um, I haven't said this yet, but tonguing is something we work on after we have established a great tone and tone control. So for that we need a lot of air support and therefore I am playing with a very well supported sound. Okay, mezzoforte or forte. And you probably notice that here I'm also not stopping the sound, right? Remember? Or now. I am not stopping the sound when I say two to two in the clarinet. Okay, the tongue is a group of muscles and we have to really work them out um, separately. So here's tonguing exercise number three. This one, actually I like to call it archaic tonguing, is a type of tonguing used years ago by which we press against the reed and don't let the air come in and then when we release the tongue, this kind of an explosive tonguing. Quite ugly, I must add. But it helps us work the back of the tongue. So I practice this way of tonguing. Usually start on A5. So when I am in silence, my tongue is pressing against the reed and I am blowing but the tongue is preventing the air from coming in. And again, I don't perform with this kind of tonguing, but the back of the tongue is, is getting stronger. And that's a good thing for normal tonguing. So, and finally, tonguing exercise number four. This one does focus on the altissimo register and similar to tonguing number one, a light tonguing. And I'm just going to tongue 16th notes. I can do it maybe in 4-4 four, four this time and all the time 16th notes. This time around, I don't hold a half note or a whole note, okay? So, again, I start in A5 or so. And when I say do 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 do, I don't stop the sound. Let's check it out. And so on. Here is what you must remember. You may get to C. You may get to C sharp. We may you may get to F today. Just keep practicing it very well with quality sound and gradually you will get higher and higher and higher. What you must not compromise is the tone quality. That has to always be the best possible tone quality. Eh? As we get very high, you will have this tendency to perhaps lower the back of the tongue. Well, just imagine that you are singing. Oh, oh. And Gradually, you can get higher and higher. Mm -hmm. That's a high C. We rarely get so high, but eventually, we should be able to tone there with a full tone and light tongue. And so those are exercises, tongue number one through four, which you need to practice daily. Okay? You may have a short intro, get a good tone, get a good embouchure, and then practice tongue in one, tongue in two, three, and four. And you will see, it's like when we train for sports, it gets better and better and better. The tongue gets gradually faster, and also, you will be able to tone better in the altissimo register gradually. So at one point today I said that the tongue is a group of muscles and that we have to work them out 
uh, separately. Well, here's one more exercise. Here's the bonus. Uh, double tongue. Um, there was a time when double tonguing was most unusual on the clarinet, and still it's not ideal, uh, in part because we have so much in the mouth. But let's learn double tonguing for the purpose of improving single tonguing at least. If you feel very comfortable double tonguing, go ahead and use it in performance. So the double tonguing starts by working out the ku, right? When we tongue, we say tu. Tu, 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 tu. So the front is more trained. Well, the ku, the back, is not really trained. So let's train the ku. Eh? And we'll just go and play ku, 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 ku on the clarinet. Maybe some low notes for this. <laughs> Beginner clarinet again. Coo, 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 coo. Then let's make the transition into double tonguing. We're going to do tua, 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 so regular tonguing every two. And then lift the back a little bit to go tua, tua, tua into tuku, 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 tuku. So something like this. <laughs> Kind of awkward, kind of tiring, but we are still just working the ku 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 ku, the back of the tongue. And eventually we expand the register. But don't forget, we have to do simple ku even more than this exercise. So I would say double tongue in. Exercise number one, ku. Ah, so hard to control. Eh? So, coo, 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 coo. Then, exercise number two for double tonguing. Tua, tua, tua goes into tuku, 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 and stays doing tuku, 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 tuku. <laughs> We have practiced tuku 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 a lot. We can soften it and go into dugu dugu dugu. So that is double tonguing, but maybe closer to dugu 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 dugu, which is a little bit softer. Eh? And once you are very comfortable in the low register, you can start going to the high register where things get harder, really. Eh? And the most important is that you just practice a little bit of double tonguing every day. Eh? And then certainly don't get the sore throat. So just do a little bit every day. Don't do the coup too hard or too deep eh? to avoid getting a sore throat. And with all these four tonguing exercises plus the double tonguing, I'm sure that your tonguing, your tonguing in general, first and foremost, will get much better, and then you will tongue in the altissimo much better too. Thank you.